So first is the open option. If you click on that, and if you are having any PVL uh, file saved at certain location, so let's say I'm clicking on that open. So it will guide me to whatever the previously saved file is. Otherwise from here, you can choose the path and you can select that particular file and open. Okay. So let's say here I'm selecting something. So I'm just demonstrating you that how we are supposed to use that option. Since you may not be having the files yet saved, so you will not be able to open it. Okay. So can you see this? Over here. Right. So that is the open option what we have talked about. In recent, the software will show you over here on the right hand side, whatever the files that has been recently opened. Okay. Okay, since you have not used the software before, and there are no files which have been previously opened. So you are not seeing that history. Otherwise you can see it over here. Then comes the third option, save. So if I click upon save, so the file will be saved, right? So now if you click upon the save option, the file which you are having will be getting saved. So let us save that file yeah. at certain location. So you can choose it from here, the location. In C drive, D drive, wherever you want to have this as a training folder over there and then give the name to this UI options, right? User interface options. You can save that file. Even though it is a blank file, but now you can see where you have saved this. If all of you have done save that file, you can see the path over here wherever you have saved that file. So if you are having this, let me know so that we can proceed with the other option. All of you can see the path wherever you have saved the file. Then comes save as option. If you want to duplicate that particular file and use for some other project, you can do the save as and change the name. Correct? So there is an option import oblique export, right? So if you can just have a look at import HTRI model. So if for any heat exchanger, if someone has done HTRI and that HTRI native file has been shared to you. So you can import that HTRI file with the help of this option and the software will get the data directly from that HTRI model. Then comes the print setup. If you click on that, you can see that whatever the printing options are there, you can choose from there so whether it is a pdf whether it is any particular printer path that you would like to set so that can be set it from print setup this preview and print if you click on that so you can see over here how the preview would look like on the right hand side since it's a blank one you are not seeing any preview correct then comes system folder. If you can click on that, the software will take you to directly the system folder. Many a times it is not required. So this, whenever it will be required, I'll let you know. Here the database is there in the system file. That is the ANSYS database, whatever database and the units, what they have set in. So all those has the backup which will be stored in the system folder. Okay. Then comes backup folder. If you just click on the backup folder, 
whenever you are working on pvlead whatever files you are going to create so there will be automatic backup which will be prepared in this particular folder so what you are going to see what you are seeing over there since you don't have any previous history so this option was introduced uh, three four years back otherwise earlier there were no backup folder so if any file that has got corrupted we have to recreate that file it was very very uh, cumbersome activity again to work on the same model but because of the feedback now they are having this backup folder where the models will also be taken backed up okay then comes example folder so by default the software also will give you some examples so if you just click on that particular folder so you will be coming into this so if you would like to have some sample vessels so you can click on vessels you can see over here these are the sample models which are over there available so if i click upon this tower I hold on this and just drag and drop it in the pvlet window. Can you just do that? Hold that file by left hand mouse, click and then drag it into the pvlet window. Can you see? Yeah. Into the example. Inside that example folder, there was a vessel for, uh, folder. So if you want, I can show it again from here. Go to file, then example folders. Click oh, over sorry. there. Then the example folder will open like this. Can you see? So if you click on vessels and scroll down, you can see this tower one, right? This is just to show you that uh, where the example folder has been given and how to open the file. So you can click on any file, just hold on that, press the left hand mouse button and drag it into the pvlet. So you can see that that particular file will be open like this. Everyone has managed to do so. Everyone has opened this. Okay, so this was about the example folder similarly there are heat exchangers as well if i click on that example folder and getting into heat exchangers exchangers particularly so you can see there are examples model for the heat exchangers let's say i am opening fixed tube sheet configuration a and dragging it into the pvlet so can you see over here ASME underscore fixed tube sheet configuration A. What these options are on the right hand side and at the top that we are going to see one by one. 